MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Miami Marlins and the Colorado Rockies. Settling in now, Jonathan VR. He will lead this one off today. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. Swing, strike two. Our game time temperature here to start play a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. His career numbers in this matchup, he's 0 for 4. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blackman on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting, Corey Dickerson. He went deep in the contest last night. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Three and one to the Marlins left fielder. The three and one pitch. Full count now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. Digging in, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Two and one's the count. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Striding in for the Rockies, Daniel Murphy. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now Murphy belts one, carrying well to right field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Batting four. The right fielder. Charlie. Stepping in now. Charlie Blackman. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there's one away. In now for Colorado. David Dahl. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. The 1-1. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. It's off the rocks and gone. In now, Trevor Story. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Pitch is swung on and hit toward VR at second. Right to him. 
A wide throw, but a great job there to keep his foot on the bag, and that fine play will end the inning. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. Comes into this one with three hits in 11 at-bats in the series. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swing and a miss on the slider. And that's out number one. The third baseman, Brian Anderson. Skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. Two down. Here's Matt Joyce now. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Now the one and one pitch. There's a fastball taken high for a ball. And he lays off again, ball three. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. There's ball four. Joyce leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Outside, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a liner, but foul. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Bounce to first. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Dom Nunez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he will make it there as the Rockies are in business right away. It's a leadoff bubble. The pitcher, Antonio. To the plate now, Antonio Senzatella. And they'll try to get the man to third as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Digging in for his second at bat, Rymel Tapia. He's hitless in the series so far. One and one, here it is. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Now the 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. This pitch is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And he fouls this one off. Men on third with two down. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. To first. He's right there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jorge Alfaro, and they'll need him to get something going here. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. 2 1. 
It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Sandy Alcantara, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. No, you certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The batter number two. Ready now, Jonathan VR. First two men in the yeah. inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Line drive to center field. Tapia is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The three and one pitch. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. And it's into the bullpen, a home run. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Joyce is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So one away here with the bases empty. And in the bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B., how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Now Nevertheless, there are two stop. away now. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He's 0-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A ball and two strikes now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. set for the start of the fourth and coming forward now is the shortstop Miguel Rojas 3 2 pitch he is swung on and missed strike three digging in Corey Dickerson 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance you know Matty tough to go down looking right there especially in a long at bat I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Garrett Cooper is on deck. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Ready now for the Marlins. Garrett Cooper looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And the Marlins have their first hit of the game. Now that the third baseman, Brian Anderson. At the plate now, Brian Anderson hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the speed threat, Garrett Hampson. 
even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can the strike and score a lot three. of runs, too. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Garrett Henson becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Antonio Senzatella. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Josh Rader answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Rymel Tapia will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. From the stretch. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Throw to second, but he's in there as a run will score on the play as well. So now to the plate, Daniel Murphy rounded slowly to the left side. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Plate. Matt Joyce with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. Now batting. The right fielder, Harold Ramirez. Stepping in now, Harold Ramirez. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Now back, Petra, Jorge Alfaro. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro in there, one and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Arenado has it to second for one. Back to Murphy, and they get them both. John Birdie will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at third. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Curveball misses inside. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And it's up to a three two full count now. Full count. On the ground to the left side. Oh, look at Arenado. Touche, sir. Sterling Sharp gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Here's Charlie Blackman now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Six runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Dickerson. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. 
lifted the other way out to left center. Dickerson's there, and the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. The one two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. Ready for another now shot batting. now. Miguel Rojas. Cook, he looked to bounce Miguel. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a ball hit towards Story at short. Scooped up. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. The one-two. That's the ball. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Now batting the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Into the box, Garrett Cooper. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving Chase his doll. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping in the long ball threat, Trevor Story. The 3 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. So striding now forward now, Garrett Hampson. He went down on strikes last time up. Line drive to center field. Joyce is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now with the plate, Dom Nunez. Nunez. 1-1. It's a fastball that misses. Two out, nobody on. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Got a full count. Hit on the ground toward the left. Speared on the dive. It's there, and he's out. Hiro Diaz will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walter is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 14. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Walter. Sent on the ground out to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now to the plate, Matt seven. Joyce. He singled Matt. his last time up. Here's the 1-1 one, one now to Joyce. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Chop this one right side. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping into the box, Harold Ramirez. One for two in the ball game thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. That'll 
will bring up Tony Walters. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now a flare out to left center, and that's in there. Base hit. The batter, the center fielder. Ball. To the plate now, Rymel Tapia. Line toward center field. Joints has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Stepping into the box, Daniel the Murphy. Perfect. He got on top of one and was a ground down Daniel. victim last time. Yeah, Matty, okay. expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And this is going to split the fairway and head out toward the rock pile for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The bat, the third baseman, Nolan. Standing in now, Nolan Arenado. That's one and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. The right fielder. Two away now in the Colorado seventh, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Now the two-one pitch. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's eight to nothing. Now that no into the box now, David Dahl. Pitch is swung on and hit toward VR at second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to hit is the catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Therefore, it is Blackman, and he's got You're it for the first please. out. Francisco Thank Cervelli will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the Cervelli. inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Coming in is Blackman. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan VR. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Full count, three and two. Lifted down the line in left, and this will wind up a foul ball. The next three, two. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now At the plate now, Miguel Rojas. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Brandon Kinsler comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Trevor Story. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Piro, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Squared that one up just a little late. The next three two 
Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And there's one down now. So striding in, Garrett Hampson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Ramirez is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are the two pitcher, gone. 37. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jairo Diaz. Diaz. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Little chopper back to the mound. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. set to start the ninth in this one and coming forward the veteran outfielder Corey Dickerson here now the 2 2 Full count. Garrett Cooper will be next now the three and two pitch and this pitch misses here it's ball four and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth so here's the cleanup hitter for Miami Garrett Cooper he flew out in his last at bat He's fallen behind now, three and one. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, what a stop on the slide. On to first to complete the double play. Now with the plate, Brian Anderson. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Miami down to their last strike. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Down and full. Swing and a ball lied hard towards short. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. Eight nothing the final today. Colorado put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Antonio Senzatella earns his fifth winner of the year. Sandy Alcantara struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Jairo Diaz takes the rare three inning save his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more make your way over to the shownation.com. The final line score for the ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies. Eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Marlins, no runs, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.